Hi, and welcome to the NBA show. This is the third and final installment of our rebuilding series. You can find the first two episodes in the bio below. This episode will be about NBA trades, so stay tuned. NBA trades are a weird beast because ultimately they are all about trying to pluck holes in a team's roster. Like how do we find that shooter that we need? What about the rim running center? What about the perimeter defender that we need? Well, let's trade for it. Sometimes though, you can actually make something more than that. You can go out swinging and see if you can turn your team into a perennial championship contender. And for that, let's look at Boston. In 2007, Paul Pierce was struggling. He was alone on the Celtics, more or less, trying to win with a group of players that, let's be honest here, weren't ready or were very good. But the Celtics had accumulated a lot of young players on rookie scale contracts. They were looking to make moves. And one of the moves that they made were Ray Allen. They acquired the sharpshooter from Seattle by sending the rights to Jeff Green, who they drafted fifth overall in 2007, for the sharpshooting Ray Allen. Now suddenly, that was Paul Pierce and Ray Allen together. That looked better, right? But they weren't quite done. With their final move for that summer, the Celtics decided, hey, let's ship all, well, most of all, our young guys, young rookie contracts to the Minnesota Timberwolves for Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett at that time had been failed miserably by the Minnesota Timberwolves organization, who had failed to return him to the playoffs since 2004 when they competed against the Los Angeles Lakers in the Western Conference Finals and got bounced. The acquisitions of Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett, combined with the continued presence of Paul Pierce, allowed Boston to present a big three. And in that time and in that era of the NBA, a big three, that was something to be reckoned with. The Celtics, as we all know, turned into NBA champions off that first year alone. The 2008 championship was all done in one year. So in a 12 month calendar's time, the Boston Celtics went from being, well, not quite a joke, but not quite an unjoke either, to being the NBA champions. Off trades. Now, trades, like I said, can be difficult because it comes down to how you actually gauge the market. If a team looks at a certain player and say, we're willing to give up X amount, another team might say, well, we're not willing to do that because we don't share your opinion of that player. So it becomes a volatile market. What it really comes down to is finding the right trade at the right time and for the right price. The Celtics, who swung big in 2007, hit on two huge trades, but the timing were perfectly aligned, which is a very rare occurrence. Now, you saw how the Lakers gave up virtually everything outside of LeBron James to get in Anthony Davis. Obviously, right now, we don't know whether or not they're going to win the NBA Finals, but they're in the conversation, making the trade a fair risk. Mostly, if you ask me, trade should be used as a way of plucking holes. Unless, of course, something comes along where you just look at the possibilities and go, this is worth it. This is worth the gamble. Now, even then, though, one has to look at the long-term window. One has to look at how the player operates, how he produces, how his mindset is. The Minnesota Timberwolves traded for Jimmy Butler on draft night in 2017. He stuck around for a year and then 10 games, becoming a major problem for the Minnesota Timberwolves because he didn't want to be there. Then what do you do? You trade him for 40 cents on the dollar to the Philadelphia 76ers. Now that was a huge loss for the Minnesota Timberwolves and it brought their franchise back for about three years. How do you go on about that? What do you do from there? Well, you probably start to rebuild it a little bit through the draft while keeping your guy, Carl Anthony Towns, and trying to move different pieces as they ended up doing when they traded Andrew Wiggins to Golden State Warriors for D'Angelo Russell. Even then though, they had to sacrifice numerous draft picks. Then what? So again, the trade market can be volatile. It can be dangerous. There is risk involved. So don't use it to necessarily build right from the get-go, but use it to complete a rebuild. That's how I look at it. 
This was our show about rebuilding. We hope you liked it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video.